Moving on, you mentioned 5G standalone networks, and those are a big deal as well these days. And the the next bit of news in the 5G ecosystem that we're going to tackle is Amdocs 5G solutions and how they've been expanded to help accelerate 5G standalone network experiences and monetization opportunities. Again, as I promised, we'll be talking a lot about that. So let's talk a little bit, Ron, about, you know, Amdoc's announcements of about its 5G value plane offerings and, you know, what's involved there. Yes. Uh, Amdocs is another great example of a player that shrewdly used Mobile World Congress to tout, you know, some yeah. new product uh, and portfolio developments uh, right. that are aimed at enabling the acceleration of 5G standalone uh, network uh, deployments, as well as enhancing uh, 5G monetization capabilities. And to that end, Andox uh, definitely, I think, uh, made a good impression talking about uh, expanding their 5G value plane. And right. what that is about is supporting key capabilities such as cross-network automation, enabling, again, network slicing and uh, targeting uh, use case capabilities right. that are aimed at specific vertical industries throughout Industry 4.0 environments. And it's also, I think, uh, interesting in that they emphasize, I think, some distinct aspects. For example, NWDAF, which is Network Data Analytics Functions Capabilities. And that is uh, using analytics engines and advanced analytics to support across the board automation of all these processes and operations that are needed uh, for successful 5G network uh, deployments. But also uh, that is uh, it delivering uh, closed loop operations. And that's something that we kind of lost sight because of all of the other things that have received a lot of uh, important attention, like you know, Open RAN. Uh, right. But again, an operator has to have closed loop operations in order to have a successful automation strategy. And uh, in com combination with that, are network exposure functions or NEF. And that's going to be important for onboarding partners, but also leveraging, you know, that uh, right. ecosystem of developers to again drive that innovation. And to that end, Andox is working with the 5G Open Innovation Lab, a very aptly titled organization, <laughs> uh, to you know make all this happen. And specifically working with uh, Microsoft, for example, to advance uh, use cases that I think are intriguing, uh, like uh, being able to improve food resiliency, you know, in the agriculture cultural uh, right. segment. So you know, all these things are coming together and it's going to be vital for end-to-end -end life cycle management and you know, uh, enabling operators to move away from 5G non-standalone networks, which were right. uh, important for getting you know, 5G kickstarted. However, you know, the limitations there are understood. You're having to use dual communication mode and having to use 5G, uh, 5G new radio in combination with 4G LTE networks, particularly right. in the core and, and places like that. And the trade-off is that it limits flexibility and it's less energy efficient you know, it stands to reason you're having to use two networks in tandem in order to deliver the service. However, once 5G standalone's in place, then I think you're really going to get these payoffs that will really make 5G monetization a lot more interesting. And and I think Amdocs is another example of a player that's going to have an impact in uh, driving this. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Looking forward to more good things ahead out of Amdocs for sure.